Morning folks, today we are going to complete talking about unit 5 for the AL and it's called gets. But today we are going to discuss the grammar part and before we discuss the grammar part we are going to have just a quick revision. Choose the correct answer. Number one, audience, generation, diners, spectators had to leave the restaurant because of a fire in the kitchen. You will take your three seconds to think and after that you will answer. And yes, the answer is diners had to leave the restaurant because of a fire in the kitchen. Number two, the diners, guests, audience, spectators left the stadium happy after their teams won. And as always, you will take your three seconds. Yes, the answer is the spectators left the stadium happy after their teams won. Number three, when the team won the cup, there was a property parade landmark visitor through the city streets to celebrate. Yes, when the team won the cup, there was a parade through the city streets to celebrate. Today we are going to discuss the difference between the present perfect and the past simple tenses. The present perfect for the form with I, we, you and they or any plural noun we take have plus the past participle. And the past participle is the third form of the verb like played, eaten, had or done. With he, she, or it, we use has plus the past participle. And for the negative form, with I, we, you, and they, we use haven't. And with, with he, she, and it, we use haven't plus the past participle. Like how you can see this, I haven't finished my work. I plus haven't plus the past participle of finish. She hasn't made a cake yet. So again, she hasn't the past participle of make and it's made and the whole sentence. Now how to make a question using the present perfect. We have two kinds of questions actually. To the yes or no questions we use have or has plus the subject plus the past participle like have they played football yes they have or no they haven't has she drunk the juice yes she has or no she hasn't so how to make a question in a usual sentence we use first of all we use the question word like any word like how when why and then we use have or has plus the subject plus the past participle so it's like when I tell you how long have you stayed in the office again how long have you stayed in the office how long is the question word have plus the subject and you then stayed the past participle or the third form of the verb. Now let's move on to the usage of the part of the present perfect. We use the present perfect to talk about recent events. Like Pete has passed all the exams. It's in recent times, so it's not in in the past in and finished in the past. It's still in recent events. And we use it also to talk about experiences. Like if I went to England, I will say, I have just I have gone to England. Or I should use I have been to England if I am back to my country. And this we will talk about this later. I can also use the present perfect to talk about 
any event or situation that began in the past and continues up to now. We use for with a period of time and since with a point of time. My dad has worked for this company for 10 years. If you just focused on for, you would find that we used for with a period of time, a period of 10 years. We actually don't know the point of time. We don't know the start of this period. But when I tell you my dad has worked for this company since 2008, that means I have the point of the time. I have the start of this period. Let's go back to I have gone and I have been. There is a big difference when I tell you I have gone to England and I have been to England. When I tell you I have gone to England, that means I went to England and I'm still there in England. But when I tell you I have been to England, that means I traveled to England before and now I am in my country. Now let's move to the past simple tense. And it refers to an action that happened and finished in the past. Just focus. When I use the present perfect tense, I relate between the past and the present. But here in the past symbol, I only refer to an action that happened and finished in the past. The whole happened in the past. The form of the past simple tense, it's the second form of the verb as in the sentences below. When I tell you Ahmed played tennis with his friends yesterday. Yes, Ahmed played. Played is the second form of the verb. I didn't use have or has before it. So it must be the past symbol. Again, when I tell you Ali went shopping last night. Went here is the second form of go. So it must be the past simple tense. So how to get the negative form of the past symbol? I use the subject for the beginning, didn't, and the base form of the verb. Like, Ali didn't go shopping last night. Yes, I know that go is the base form of the verb. And actually, the second form of it is went. So when I use the, th the second form, I refer to the past symbol. And to get the negative form of this, I should use didn't plus the base form like in this sentence. Ali didn't go shopping last night. So how to make a question in the past symbol? First of all, I use the question word plus didn't subject and the base form of the verb. Like, where did you play yesterday? He should answer me saying, I played in the court or I played in the playground. But if I want to make a question on a sentence that has yes or no, I should do like this, did subject plus the base form of the verb. So when I tell you, did you play yesterday? You will answer me saying, yes, I played or no, I didn't play. Now it's time to answer some questions. Choose the correct answer. We've been in San Francisco three days. So, you will take your three seconds. We have been in San Francisco for, for three days. I'm sorry I should give you your time, but you know, three days, it's a period of time. And here we don't know the point of time. We don't know the start of the time. So it should be four. Number two, how long have you, you have, did you have, had you known Belinda? Please note here that no doesn't come in the ing form. Never. It never comes with the ing form. So what should I say? Yes, you have a good guess. And I should say, how long have you known Belinda? Number three, 
and has gone be then went to the shops she will be back at three o'clock so she didn't come back she is not here right now and i should say yes and has gone to the shops she will be back at three o'clock number four my parents have been went gone where to china last year you will take your three seconds and yes you have got a, a good guess and the answer is my parents went to china last year why should i use went here why should i use the second form of the verb because i have lost here and lost is one of the key words of the past symbol so please get your pen ready and write the keywords of the past symbol it's yesterday in the past last once ago in plus past period now let's go to number five harry has lived in sydney last year with the words i use with last year it's one of the words of since or for so you have to guess what is the answer and yes the answer is harry has lived in sydney since last year get your pen ready and write this after me yes i use since with last and for with the last so if i have harry has lived in sydney last year i should use for the last year now let's go to number six have you seen the taj mahal yes we have to ask about experience i should use ever so again let's write the whole keywords for the present perfect the first keyword and you have it here it's ever i use ever to talk about an experience to ask about an experience i should use ever also with the super superlative when I tell you, this is the tallest building I have ever seen. Or I can ask you like this, have you ever been to England? And the second keyword is never. I use never to say that I really never did this before. So when I tell you, I have never been to England, that means I didn't visit England. Now let's move to the next keyword, it's just and it refers to an action that happened just a minute ago when i tell you i have just finished my homework that means i finished my homework a minute ago let's move on we have already and it means that i finished what i was doing but before a period of time it's like one hour or two hours so when i tell you i've already done my homework that means i did my homework one hour ago let's move to yet and yet means that i haven't finished what i'm still doing so when i tell you they haven't finished decorating the house yet that means they are still decorating the house I can also use yet to make a question by saying have you decorated the house yet or I can say have you finished decorating the house yet now we know the difference between since and for since it comes with a point of time start of a time but for comes with a period of time Welcome back, folks. We are going to complete discussing the, the unit 5 in the AL, <clears throat> but we have finished the grammar part, and now it's time to just discuss the vocabulary part. But before we do this, we have just to make some rewrite sentences. Number one, when did your sister get married? I won't use long. Actually, I won't use how long, and I use 
as always I use how long to ask using the present perfect tense you will get your five seconds yes the answer is how long has your sister been married number two I have no experience of skiing so I should use never and it's gonna be I have never gone skiing because I told you before that I use never when I want to say that I have no experience of doing something number three I last met Sarah six years ago I won't use four yes your five seconds and yes the answer is I haven't met Sarah for six years now let's move to number four I can't find my mobile phone so I won't use lost and here I should say I have lost my mobile phone now let's move to the vocabulary part the first word it's called corner shop yes corner shop and it means a convenient place to buy bread and milk you can actually buy many things in this you can buy notebooks you can buy pens it's like a library but not a library so a corner shop it's a convenient place to buy bread and milk and for this we are going to say my father went to the corner shop to buy milk now let's move to the second one it's department store and actually if you live in America the whole of America know what is Walmart and department store means a place where you come where you can buy goods and for this I'm going to say Walmart is the biggest department store in the world the next word hardware store and it means a large shop where you can buy tools and equipment that are used in the house and you can see this in the picture and for this I'm going to say we bought a cooking pan from the hardware store now the next word it's delicatessen yes delicatessen and it means a shop that sells special or unusual or foreign food and what you can see in the picture is called baguette it's a French bread so for this we're going to say we bought baguette from the delicatessen the next word browsing yes browsing and it means to spend time looking around the shop without a clear idea of what you are looking for and for this we're going to say me and my brother went shopping yesterday and we just had enough browsing the next one it's charity shop and it means a shop that sells clothes books given by people to make money for charity it's when you you have a t-shirt and it, uh, it's always not used again so I should give the charity shop this shirt and for this we're going to say we emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the charity shop again we emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the charity shop now let's move on to the clothes rail and it means a bar text to wall which you can hang things on as you can see in this picture so for this we are going to say after trying on the new shirt and knowing its price I hung it again on the clothes rail it was too expensive the next word it's called food counter and it means 
a long flat surface or table in a shop where customers are served. And for this we, we can say, I prepared the food on the food counter. Now to the next word, it's label. Yes, label. And it means a piece of paper on an object which gives you information about it. And we can say, I knew where the shirt was made by reading the label on it. Now, news, ag news agents, again, news agents. It's the shop which sells newspapers, magazines, sweets, or cigarettes. And I can say, I went to the news agents to buy a magazine. Now let's go to the price tag. The price tag is the price written on goods. And for this we can say, hey, you should have a look at the price tag. It's totally expensive. Now let's move to the next word and it's queue up. Yes, queue up. It means to form a line when you are waiting for something. I can say it's Thanksgiving today and the people are queuing up in front of the shop's gates because of the great sale. Again, it's Thanksgiving today and the people are queuing up in front of the shop's gates because of the great sale. Now to the next word and it's called window shopping. Yes, window shopping. And it means Looking at things in shop windows without intending to buy anything. And for this, we can say, we didn't enter the shop. We just did window shopping. Actually, we didn't buy anything. Now let's move to answer some exercises. Number one, choose the correct answer. We emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the department store, the charity shop, the food counter, or the cash till. And I think I forgot to tell you, what is the cash till? The cash till is the place like the checkout, the place where you can pay for the things you bought. So, you will take your five seconds. And yes, the answer is, we emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the charity shop. Number two, most of the company's meetings happen in the boardroom, corner shop, hardware store, or the news agents. I think you took this word before, and the answer is easy and clear. So it's going to be most of the company's meetings happen in the boardroom. Number three, I can't $16. I can't pay for a Ford cost or buy here I have a new verb and it is afford afford that means I don't have the sixteen dollars I can pay for the things I bought now now let's move to number four a bank a news agents corner shop or the department store is a convenient place to buy bread and milk you will take your five seconds as always. And the answer is, a corner shop is a convenient place to buy bread and milk. Now number five, Alice has bought her hair dryer at the charity shop, the food counter, the clothes trail, or the department store. So you will take your three seconds, not five, because it's clear. And the answer is, Alice has bought her hair dryer at the department store. Welcome, folks, to the last part of this video. Now we are going to answer some exercises in lessons 3 and 4. Number 1, choose the correct answer. Number 1, we have been in San Francisco since, for, during, within 3 days. And as always, we'll take your three seconds to answer. Yes, the answer is, we've been in San Francisco for 
three days. Number two, how long have you, you have, did you have, had you known Blenda? So the answer is going to be, yes, how long have you known Melinda? Number three, Anne has gone, be, been, went to the shops. She will be back at three o'clock. So I should say, yes, Anne has gone to the shops. She will be back at three o'clock. Number four, my parents have been, went, gone, where to China last year. So I have lost here and the answer must be yes. My parents went to China last year. Number five, Harry has lived in Sydney since long for during last year. And yes, I should use Harry has lived in Sydney since last year. Number six, have you ever, never, since for seen the Taj Mahal? Yes, we have. So I should say, have you ever seen the Taj Mahal? And he will answer saying, yes, we have. Number seven, are you going to the photography exhibition in London? I've already gone, been, be, had to it. It was fantastic. So I am talking to him right now, so he's with me right now. And I'm going to say, I've already been to it. Number eight, I've been a teacher for long since within four years. I have four years, that's a period of time. I don't have the point of time. So I should say, I've been a teacher for four years. Now let's move to number nine. You won't find him in his office. He had left, left, has left, is leaving recently. Recently is one of the key words of the present perfect and I should say he won't find him in his office he has left recently number 10 I can't play basketball because I hurt have hurt was hurting and hurting my ankle so I should say I can't play basketball because I have hurt my ankle again I can't play basketball because I have hurt my ankle. Number 11, Reem can't get into her house as she has left, leaves, would leave, was leaving her keys at school. You will take her three seconds and yes, the answer is Reem can't go into her house as she has left her keys at school. Number 12, he is the tallest man I ever seen. So I should say, he is the tallest man I have ever seen. Number 13, the streets are full of sand because there has been, was, is, was being a sandstorm at night or in the night. So the answer is going to be, the sand, the streets are full of sand because there has been a sandstorm in the night. Number 14, the police are talking to the car driver as his car hit, hit, is hitting or has hit another car. Just focus that they are talking right now. And we want to link between the past and the present. So I should say, the police are talking to the car driver as his car has hit another car. Number 15, Nabila didn't, couldn't, won't, can't see very well because someone has turned off the lights. So I should say, Nabila can't see very well because someone has turned off the lights. Number 16, Sara has lost her passport again. It is the second time this has happened happens, happened, is happening. Please note that with, it is the first time, it is the, the second time I use the prison perfect. And I should say, Sarah has lost his, her passport again. It is the second time this has happened. 
Number 17, he just has, already has, has just never come back home. So I should say, he has just came, come back home. Number, two, uh, number 18, Radwa has gone on a holiday since for when on the last week. So I should say, Radwa has gone on holiday for the last week. Number 19, he has left work since four in ago last month. And I should say, he has left work since last month. Now let's go to the rewrite ones. Rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets to give the same meaning. Number one, when did your sister get married? And we want to use long. So for this, we are going to use another application. And we will write, yes, how long has your sister been married? Number two, I have no experience of skiing. I want to use never. I think we answered this before. So I should write, I have never gone skiing. Number three, I last met Sarah six years ago and I want to use four. So the answer is, yes, I haven't met Sarah for six years. Now number four, I can't find my mobile phone. And I won't use lost. So the answer is gonna be I have lost my mobile phone. Number five. Just wait, 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 wait. I had my lunch a moment ago. Use just. So I should say I have just had my lunch. Number six. The carpenter is still fixing the door. Use yet. So the answer is going to be the carpenter hasn't finished fixing the door yet. Number six, the last time I traveled abroad was in 1995. Use I haven't. So, I should say, I haven't traveled abroad since 1995. Number eight, this building is extremely tall. And I should say, I should use ever. So I will say, this is the tallest building I have ever seen. Or I can say, this is the tallest building ever. Number nine. I haven't met my friends for a long time. I want to use since. And please focus on this sentence. How can I use since to give the same meaning of this sentence? I should write, it's been a long time since I met my friends. And when I say it's been a long time, it means it has been a long time. Or I can say, it is a long time since I met my friends. Number 10. This is the most expensive car I have ever driven. I want to use never. So I can say, I have never driven 
such an expensive car I can say this or I can also say I have never driven such an expensive car like this before number 11 I had my lunch a moment ago I think we said this before and it's gonna be I have just had my lunch number 12 <coughs> Ali went to Cairo and came back I won't use has he is here again so I should say Ali has been to Cairo let's move to the next one and it's lesson 4 so number one we emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the department store the charity shop the food counter or the cash till so I can say we emptied the wardrobe and took all the old clothes to the charity shop number two most of the company's meetings happen in the yes most of the company's meetings happen in the boardroom number three I can't pay for a fort cost by sixteen dollars so I should say I can't afford sixteen dollars number four a is a convenient place to buy bread and milk so a corner shop is a convenient place to buy bread and milk number five Ali has bought Alice has bought her hair dryer at the yes the department store number six don't forget you me fifty five dollars that means I lent you fifty five dollars and you didn't give them back so don't forget you owe me fifty five dollars number seven a structure with straight sides and curved top is an arch yes it's an arch number eight this is the only mistake she has made number nine a corner shop is a convenient place to buy bread and milk number ten the piece of clothes doesn't have a price tag and number eleven the supermarket didn't have enough people working on the cash till. To rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets to give the same meaning. So, Josh went to the gym earlier, but he has come home now. So I want to use has, and I should write Josh has been to the gym number two my parents aren't here they are at the supermarket and I should say yes my parents has gone to the supermarket number three we moved here in 2005 use left it's easy you will take your five seconds and yes I must say we have lived here since 2005 and thank you for watching this video